And here's somebody who doesn't need any luck. Why is our young Jack? Up you come, up you come, Lee. That's lovely stuff. Ooh, bounding up there with a big smile on his face. Please, let me relieve you of the show of Captain Dave. Lovely stuff. Now, you know what's about to happen, don't you, matey? Yes, Dave. Yes, Dave. And you know what's about to happen, too, yes, don't you? Dave. Oh, please, go through my archway of agony. Go on, off the pair of you go. Because it's time now for the Gunk Dunk. <laughs> Barber here to enjoy a close shave. <laughs> All right, now, Uncle Lee, mate, I'm going to ask you three questions. For every question that you get right, you will stay exactly where you are, which is poised above me gunge, which, believe me, is very smelly at the moment. However, should you get a question wrong, and there is a fair old chance of that happening, you will be dragged up and away from the gun. So it's a case of, you get down, man! You get down, Lee! We mean no. <laughs> But from just how high, we're going to find out. Get ready with that button, Jack. All right, you know, because you know what you got to do. All right, first question. Here we go. I hope you watch a lot of telly for this one. Name the three comedians in the staff room on Live and Kicking. Sorry, no. Sorry, no. You're not really cutting hair by that time, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Right, well, it's Jez, Ben and Richard. Didn't get it. What do we do? <laughs> yeah! We crank him up. Oy. That's number one there for you. All right, get ready. Number two, this should be a good one, get ready. In the film Star Wars, episode one, The Phantom Menace, right? Who plays Obi-Wan Kenobi? Come on. No. You don't know? No. I ain't gonna hazard the guess. No. He's very current at the moment, very big guy. All right then, the answer is Ewan McGregor. Didn't get it, what do we do? Crank him up. number two. Oh, he's looking a bit worried now, here we are. If you get this right, you stay where you are. If not, you're going in from a great height, believe me. Right, how many consecutive Christmas number one hits have the Spice Girls had? Three. Believe it or not, three is the correct answer. He got that right. But the problem is, <laughs> though he stays where he is, he's still got to go down. That's right. This is the geezer who won't cut your hair the way you want it. Please, Jack, push that button and get your own back. <laughs> There. Oh! <laughs> Still some more coming down. Listen, Jack, you managed to get your own back on your uncle Lee. How do you feel? I feel brilliant. I feel brilliant. I love it when children say that. Okay, we've also got your mystery prize as well. This is what Jack's won. You've won a VIP trip to Alton Towers. Yeah! Now believe me, Jack, when I say this, you'll have a fabulous day there. Have you had that fabulous day here? Just wanted to know. Listen, this is for you. Your very own get your own back trophy. Your bag as well. And look at this. Be the envy of your mates with a get your own back sweatshirt. Please give it up for Jack. Yeah. Oh, nice one. Time now for us to take a look at Uncle Lee. Yes, the demon barber. There he is. Oh, complete with funky new hair gel. Anyway, that's all from us here. Do join us again real soon for more grumpy grown ups in the gunge. See ya. Yeah. Bye bye. Grumpy grown-ups in the guns, that's quite difficult to say. Next week, at the same time, you can see a brand new series of The Wild Thornberries. And The Wild House is on the way today. Plus, find out if you are a get-your-own-back winner next. I really like that.